So let's begin with the chapter that is computer a machine. Children, you come across so many things around you. Some things are natural and some things are man-made. Natural means the things which we get from the nature. Can you name some of them? What did you say? Sun? Oh yes! Sun is the gift of nature and we cannot live without it. Very nice. Tree. Tree is also another gift of nature. And fruits, vegetables, air, sun, sky, anything that you see around you, which God has given you, that is natural. And now we come and learn about some man-made things. What are man-made things which we make? Like we make a house. So, house is a man-made thing, right? Washing machine. Washing machine is also made by human beings. And chair. Can you name some of them? More? Yes, this pen. Your book also, the book which you are reading. And so many things around you, in the house, in the school, windows, doors, everything that man makes is man-made. Got it? Show me your thumbs up. Great. So come, let's move further. And we are going to tick mark to the things which are made by man and cross the things which are natural. Okay. So come on, get ready. Tell me. Sun is? Yes. We are going to tick mark. That is a natural gift of God. Tree. What do you say? Okay. Correct. That is also a natural thing. And this is computer. So computer correctly said that is made by human being. We are going to cross it. Car. What do you say? Man-made? Correct. So again we put a cross here. And oh lovely bird. Yes, it is again a natural gift. We are also the gift of God. We are also natural. Yes. And what do you say about the bike? Bike is man-made. So we put a cross. Yes, nicely said. Fan is also man-made. Okay, what do you say about mountains? This is natural. Good going. Keep your spirit up and we move ahead now. Come to the next slide. And we are talking about machines now. Children, machines are man-made things that makes our life easier. That means machine gives you certain additional features which make your life smooth. And we see machines all around us. So we are so much depending on machines that for very small things we come across using different, different machines. Yes? And of course, machines help us to make our work fast and it is used to save the time as well. So whenever you use machine, you get your work done so quickly and of course, it's going to save your time. And let's see the next thing, what machines are. Machines are built to do a specific task. So what do you mean by the word specific task? Specific task means every machine is made for doing a particular work. We are going to discuss it. Like suppose you have a sharpener. So what is the task of sharpener which you are holding in your hand? Yes, it sharpens the pencil. So that means every machine is made to do a specific work. Okay. Now we move ahead and we are going for a special machine 
that is called abacus abacus what is abacus have any one of you heard of it i'll tell you abacus is the first machine that was made to count and solve the sums so it was made with the technology with certain logics so that it helps you to do the calculation much much quickly as we normally do it my champidia are you understanding it have you ever used a bacus smiling come on we move further now and we go to the next slide so let's learn more about machines now now children machines are of two types the first type of machine is manual machines as the word says manual what is this manual that means which work with some manual efforts the efforts which we as a human being are doing to operate that machine okay so it is like manual machines work with the help of human efforts so what are human efforts like suppose you are riding a bicycle now bicycle will not move automatically like our car moves but we have to paddle on it right so that means these are the human efforts to operate that particular machine in the same way look at seesaw so seesaw is a machine which work when one one child put a pressure it goes to one direction and another child put a pressure it goes to another direction so it moves like this like this yes so we are putting the efforts so human efforts are put to just operate this mechanical machine called seesaw and have you ever taken a ride on machine this seesaw oh just sit here we'll go later to sit on the seesaw and enjoy and oh we were talking about sharpener rowing boat so all these work with human efforts and that is why we call these machines as manual machines show me your thumbs up if it is clear to you come now we are talking about second type of machines that are automatic machines so children what is automatic machine automatic machines work with the help of external energy what is the meaning of external energy source external energy source means the energy is not used by our mechanical process but some outer source is doing the providing the energy to get the machine operated yes now what are these external sources these external energy sources could be fuels right like petrol diesel any sort of fuel or it could be electricity also sometimes i'll give you some of the examples like we have car you know car works with fuel it could be petrol it could be diesel and yes cng rightly said and you know very soon you will be sitting in the electric cars also engineers are working on it then we have aeroplane again it works on fuel yes and motorbike you all ride these vehicles and you know these vehicles ship as well so they work with the energy that is provided by the external source it could be any of them got it so these machines are called automatic they work automatically once they get the energy from the outer source got it show me your thumbs up and not your Head. good so let's move ahead and now it's the processing time for you so here we have a grid children you have to circle the names of the machines used in our daily lives okay 
So I have already done one for you and we will be putting efforts together to complete this grid. So this one is the first one that is bicycle. Okay. So bicycle is there, right? Let's look for more words here. Quickly, quickly. Could you help me? What are you saying? Oh, chimpanzee has seen one word. He told me this washing machine. Great. Okay. Anyone else? Let me change the color. Anyone else could help me to find another word? Okay. Quickly, quickly. Can anyone see seesaw? I found it. It's here. Yes, this is seesaw. And we'll find more words here. So, we are going to find one more word. I found it. Yes, this is fan. And could you help me to find where is shape? Shape is rightly said. I got it. Good job. You have put right efforts of yours. And now we come to the next page. So, let us learn about a special machine that is computer. Yes, you all know computer. You all have worked on it. You keep on working on it rather time to time. So, just look at this picture and you see children are working on it. And it is a special smart machine called computer. Yes, children, am I right? Oh, he's nodding the head. He says yes. Okay, now we move further and look here. What is a computer, children? Computer is a smart machine. So, we say that a computer is an electronic device which gives some output on the basis of some input. What does this line mean? This line means it's a smart machine that works for you but it requires some input to get the result. So you have to give some instructions, you have to give some data. This all we are going to learn in the upcoming session. So there comes the name of the father of computer. He was Charles Babbage. Speak with me. Charles Babbage. Okay. So, Charles Babbage is known as the father of computer. And children, computer is also a machine which runs with electricity. Say electricity. Okay. And very important thing is that the computer help us in doing so many work. Now, what are those work? It is watching movies, solving sums, listen to the music. Yeah, everyone loves it. Playing games. And of course, we have fun way of studying with the help of computer. We can also draw and color. And so many things that we could do with the help of computer. Okay. Now, here we go and we are going to understand the features of a computer. Why we use computer? It has certain special features. Come, let's explore them. So, the very important thing is that computer help us to do our task, many tasks all together at the same time. So smart of it. It can do this work, this work, that work, all work done all together at the same time. Multitasking. Okay. And it saves our time as it works so fast, very fast, beyond our imaginations. Got it? Moreover, computer does not get bored or tired. It keeps on working and working and working. And never say, I am tired. Understood? Moreover, look here. Another very important feature of computer is 
that computer doesn't have feeling. It never feels. It's so hot. Now we cannot work. It's so cold. We cannot work. So they don't have any feeling. They are just the machines whom you just give the instructions and they start working and working and working without feeling any uh, emotions. Okay. And it never make mistake. Mistakes. We people make mistakes when we are overburdened. And when we get tired, we start making more and more mistakes. But it never happens with computer. Right? And computer gives the results based on the instructions and information that you provide them. So it cannot randomly work for you. But it works on your commands, on your guidance. Okay? Now, another important feature of computer is that they cannot work for its own. Therefore, computer needs certain commands which computer follows and they does your work. Okay? And... It can also store pictures. Very important feature. Suppose you want to store certain pictures, certain data in the computer for the future use. So what are you going to do? You are going to store your files, videos, data, everything inside the computer itself that could be used later whenever you require it. So according to our request, requirement there are different types of computers children we are going to learn about different types of computers which we come around us so in our day-to-day -day life we could see different categories of computer that i'm going to tell you right away the first type of computer is personal computer so these are the computers which you normally see in your schools which are provided for you to work Yes, and we have another type of computer which we say laptop computer. So, laptop is a small computer which you put on your lap and you sit comfortably. Normally, your parents have laptops which they carry to their office and normally they work on it, right? So, laptops could be carried from one place to another but seems difficult for the personal computer. So they have given a proper place, proper table where they are placed and you work on it. Got it? Yes. Great. And smartphone. Everyone has a smartphone. Maybe everyone in the family carries a smartphone these days. So smartphones are small computers on which you can do so much of work. Almost every work that you do on your laptops and personal computers, but they are smaller in size. So, children, we have another type of computer we call tablet computer. So, if you want to work for longer time, so instead of going for smartphones, what we normally do, we buy a tablet, we put it properly and we do certain work on it. Yes? Show me your thumbs up quickly. Great. Now we move further and <coughs> it's a time to just check out how much have you learned so far. So, <coughs> a computer is an automatic. You have to fill in the blanks choosing the words from here. We have provided you a hint box. So, quickly help me. Computer is an automatic. What is it? Machine. Right. So, we write machine here. Great. Now, we read second one. Read out. A computer never gets tired. Oh, really? Yes. We write here tired. So, computers never get tired. Great. Good job. Now, next is Dash is a machine that runs on fuel. So, which machine runs on fuel? Correctly said, that's car. 
and the last one is we can play games and watch movies on a on a computer good going and here we go to the next exercise so you have to tell true and false which of these sentences are true and which are false okay yes i'm reading the first one for you things made by man are called man made things is it correct okay so we write true here now read the second one apple sun moon tree all are man made what do you say are they man made no good we write false this question chimpanzee is going to answer you okay machines help us to do our work slower what are you saying slower no 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 he doesn't know you are saying it correct computer help us to do our work faster so it is false we can draw and color on a computer so can we draw and color on computer children yes right so we say it is a true statement and we go and quickly look at these pictures and tick mark the tasks that you can do on computer so yes we can listen the music you are becoming so smart we can write a document also we cannot dance on computer can we no so we put a cross here and yes of course here we are using computer to do our work good job and i really appreciate the way you are answering me keep going and we move further look here we are going to give you certain guidelines which will tell you the right way to handle the computer first thing is we have to keep the surroundings clean so make sure that your computer and its nearby area is always clean and for that you must make sure you should not eat or drink near the computer so every time no to your food no to your meals near the computer okay good and then share equally children we have limited resources of computers in the school so make sure that whenever you sit in the computer your friends should get equal chance and you must have a feeling of sharing the computers in the lab okay and that's very important correct posture so what do you mean by correct posture correct posture means when you sit on the computer you should not bend down always keep your back straight and you have to be healthy when you sit on computer for long time so that means keep the chair at proper height that's the first requirement and maintain proper distance from the from the monitor so that your eyes are not at all affected is it okay yes and of course to keep healthy you have to take proper breaks don't sit on the computer for the longer time and make yourself exhausted right so that is the reason we say that keep taking breaks and do regular exercise when you sit on the computer and that will help you to stay fit so before we say goodbye let's recall we have what all we have learned so far okay so god has given us many things they are called natural things okay and the second thing was what was it man made good so natural things are the things which god gives us and the man made things are which we people make now machine is a man made thing which makes our life easier 
that shows that we have learned so far about the computer to make our life easy we use machines and machines are of two types first is manual and the second is automatic so we have learned much good things and i would say you happy learning see you later for the next session bye bye